Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy VII for the PC. Yeah, man, cool. So we're in Wu Tai still. This is chill, cool looking place. It really is a cool looking place. I've mentioned that. But now, Yuffie's been kidnapped. She's been taken here, I guess, to the mountains of Da Chao by Corneo, of all people. Why is he here? You know, it's kind of a funny little predicament, you know. One of ours is kidnapped, one of the Turks is kidnapped, and and hilarity ensues. You're finally here. Let's split up. You do whatever it takes. But don't endanger Elena. Don't worry. We won't do anything to hurt Yuffie. For now. Hmm. <laughs> And there's random battles. It's supposed to be tough here, man. We don't have materia. Oh, these worm things. Ugh. Yep, they spin their silk. I'm pretty sure that slows us down, right? Yeah, see, look at Sid there. I was talking about this in the last part. He just kind of waves his arm around. I don't know. He's got that cool javelin. His goggles, that cigarette. And how does Eris' uh, staff stay in midair like that? <laughs> Do we ever wonder? Guess it's just more that RPG logic, right? I love it. You gotta love it, man. I mean, it's in the title. Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Uh, these things are annoying, though. Not gonna fight them all. Well, we've been here before, a couple parts ago, and this mountain isn't really that crazy. You know, when they made this little section of the game, they could have made this mountain, like, really crazy. You know what mountains were crazy in another Final Fantasy game prior to this? The one right before, Final Fantasy VI. The, well, the caves of Narshi. It had some mountain kind of kind of action, too. It was caves and mountains, right? Kind of a mixture, so that that's fine, that's cool, it still counts. But anyway, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty crazy. And you would explore the mines and the mountains of Narshi, but not all at once. It would open up to you little by little. Man, I love that game. Well, Dave, you're playing this game, Final Fantasy VII. What is this, nothing now? No, I love this game too. But every time I reminisce, it's just like, oh, man. And I think, guys, it's because Final Fantasy 4 and 6, I haven't, I haven't played in a long time since I did walkthroughs of them. Really, man. Like, it's a long time ago. And those walkthroughs are ancient. You know, I need to redo them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you can stop them from running away. There's no point in going over there, but whatever. So, Rude and Reno are on the case. I believe Reno's over here. Hmm. <laughs> Stop fooling around. The enemy's not gonna wait for us, you know. Hmm. <laughs> I always uh, love in RPGs if you catch up to a, a running or walking character. You know, a character that's moving. They'll say something. They can get away from you. You know, you, you gotta act fast, right? I think it would be even better, though, if that second time Reno said something, I don't know, something different. You know? I mean, this is an older RPG now. This is before voice acting and all that stuff, so... Dialogue boxes. Why would you play this and just, like, pound that X button, you know? Up, 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 up. Hit the X button. All right, yeah, yeah, they're talking. I don't care. Whatever, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's what's, whatever that says, I don't care. Let's just get through it. You know, it's just like, up. Oh, oh, yeah, that says that. Okay, I don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, who does that? I don't know. Maybe you do that, and that's, that's your right. Guess what? That's your right. You can do that. But I think that's crazy. Why would you skip dialogue? Why would you just hit that X button, hit that A button, just keep going, yeah, yeah, di dialogue, blah, blah. Hmm. 
You know, I want to know. I want to see. I, I want to hear. What's up with these fire pits here? So as far as like Final Fantasy games go, Wu Tai is definitely that that cool place where you can just like do a lot of the extra things, pick up extra items, and you can relate that to like the older Final Fantasy games, like four, six, and then following with eight and nine. Y'all thought they might be here too, huh? Well, we were way off. <laughs> There's no way they could get this far. Ah. Cool view from up there, sure. What about down here? Let me go! <laughs> Delicious! Scrumptious! I think I just found a new hubby! <laughs> Which shall it be? Should I take her? Hey! I'm a Turk! You can't get away with this! Ooh! Or maybe her! Oh, God! If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have taken rope lessons more seriously! <laughs> I've made my choice! My companion for the night will be... Ha-ha! <laughs> the cheerful one! Grossness! Don't mess with me, old man! You don't even have any materia! Woohoo! And she's saucy, too! <laughs> Alright, that's it! Ah! Hee What? What's going on? Who's there? Hmm. Oh, man! Cloud! Well, long time no see! Don't tell me you forgot. You just don't get it, do you? Maybe God forgive an ugly fuck like you, but I won't. Be quiet! None of you know how much I've suffered since then! <sighs> it's a long story, but... I don't really give a damn. You're gonna let them go, or else I'm gonna break your arm. Hmm. Hmm. You guys are serious. Good, good. This time, I'm not fooling around either. Why did you kill my little apps? I'm gonna make you play with my new pet, so you won't interfere in my search for a bride. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Raps, come here. We don't care, Corneo. Okay, so this guy's kind of tough. You know, his attacks aren't nothing. Is he weak against fire or ice? Let's find out. Cloud's physical attacks are probably, yeah, like... Fire sucks. What about ice, though? You never know. Probably not, though. It's probably not programmed to, yeah, be weak against magics, because why would we? We're not really supposed to have magics, technically, here. So, yeah, guys. High potions and hit them. Hit them hard. Oh, man. And get ready for... Man, that didn't fill up your limit. Get ready for attacks, man. Like, that was, uh, that was a tough one, dude. Sid limit break, boost jump. This is a good one. And his first one. Sid was our last party member. We acquired him late. Remember after all? Yeah, so I guess just regular physical attacks. I like that! If I get one for Cloud, this guy's done. Yeah, he can be a pain. Yeah, oh, five, six, two! That's a good one, man. I guess just kind of have Eris use high potions during her turns, right? Attack with Sid, Cloud, they're strong. They got good weapons, they're capable. They got good limit breaks too when they fill up. 
This is the killer right here. Arrow three. Really? That might kill Cloud. But it's okay. Oh, but you know what sucks? His limit's gone. Your character falls. They don't retain it. It's gone, man. Man, he is tough. I'm just gonna do uh, some high potions. High potion after high potion. Yeah, I got I got um uh, X potions, but no, I'm not gonna use them. All right, we'll do a little attack in here. If I could just get one more limit break for Sid or Cloud, this guy's probably done. Or just one more attack. All that. All right, I'm gonna heal. Okay, let's heal again. Another heal. All right, keep on healing with those uh, high potions. One hit, he's he's dead. <laughs> probably thanks to Sid taking him down a peg or two. Uh, you know, HP wise. Anyway, EXP, AP, good stuff. Hit the X button. All right. <laughs> AP, a lot of, uh, well, a decent chunk of AP there, but we did benefit a little off of that, right? I got some materia equipped after all. It's a lot of cashola. Wait! D just wait a second! Shut up! Just, just listen to me. It, w it won't take long. Why do you think a bad guy like me would swallow his pride and plead for his life? One because he's ready to die, two, because he's sure to win, or three, because he's clueless. Hmm, what, because he's sure to win? Hmm, right! <laughs> ah! I'm so pissed! Once I push this button, they'll fall, and we'll have squash tomatoes! <laughs> Damn! Urgh. So this is how a loser lives! Alright. Now, give me your women too! <laughs> I guess I'll have the last laugh! No, that would be us. <laughs> what? What's going on? Who's there? Hmm. The Turks. You knew this was going to happen ever since you leaked that secret. We're going to take care of you. Personally. D damn it! Then they're all coming with me! Good timing, Rude. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's get to work. <laughs> All right, Corneo. This'll be over quick, so listen up. Why do you think we went to all the trouble of teaming up with those guys to get you? One, because we're ready to die. Two, because we're sure to win. Or three, because we're clueless. Uh, two! Number two? All wrong. <laughs> no! Wait! Stop! <laughs> the correct answer was... <laughs> because it's our job. Oh, thank you very much! I never thought you'd come! <sighs> Elena, don't act so weak. You're a Turk! Y yes yes sir! Thanks for your help. Mm. Mm. Yes, this is Reno. Y yes, yes. I'll get on it right away. Was that the company? Yeah. They want us to find Cloud. Hmm. 
Are we on? <sighs> no. Today's our day off. Hey! Who cares about that? Get me down! Now the materia is back in its rightful place. Hey, the order is all messed up. Huh? Oh, it'll be alright. Don't be so picky. Anyways, that sure was close. No, normally I would kick their butts. Boom! Bang! Ha! Hmm! Ha! Hmm! Hmm! That corneo guy's a real pain. I'd rather deal with my dad than with that guy. Huh. You know, some of those Turk guys are pretty good, huh? Yeah, at least after all that, we got our materia back. Now, come on, everybody. Let's continue our journey. Hey! W wait! Oh, all right. Here, I'll give this to you guys. Here, look! Look! On. Wait! No matter what you think, I'm going with you! Next time. Next time. And so we're done. Pretty much, in a way. We can leave. If we want. Head back to uh, our water plane. And leave Wu Tai. But here's the thing, guys. Yeah, we're not really supposed to be done with Wu Tai. Nah, not yet. All right, let's see who says different things now. Um, I do believe we have access to the cat house again. To, uh, well, to access another section of it. The, the cat has moved out of the way. No, we couldn't step over the cat or move it ourselves. No, that would be crazy, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, wasn't there a black cat right here? Yeah, yeah, we can go upstairs. Secrets! Secrets. So let's get up. There's a chest. What's in it? I don't remember. Uh, oh, HP absorb materia. That's fun. Yeah, I always hated this. Like when Yuffie returns materia, it really is all screwed up. Like uh, an all on a single slot. Oh, okay. Yeah. But ac actually, uh, technically, it kind of doesn't matter. Especially for what's coming up here. You kind of have to do... Um, some material rearranging anyway. God, they, they like, skits out there. Like, with their meowing, you know? Do you hear that? A little meow sound effect. <laughs> also, if we come back to Wutai, we can finally do the rest of the shopping type stuff. Uh, listen. I'm sorry about last time. Yuffie told me not to sell anything to you. Ah, I see. Hey, yo, welcome! We got some of uh, the best blades right out of the furnace. So, strike while the iron's hot. <laughs> Ooh, they're normals. Normals, normals. Oh, those normals. Normies. Uh, but yeah, impressive, right? They're all upgrades. I'm gonna buy that for Yuffie. Gee, does that tell you something? Uh, but yeah, let's see, what else? Um, oh, my butterfly edge, man. Well, you know what? Right now, I'm not gonna buy anything, because, well, there's actually no point. Oh, wait, but what about the equipment? What, uh, what else? Weapons, and... Oh, no, it's just weapons, okay. Sometimes, you know how they combine. Just weapons, huh? Hmm. And no materia? There's the weapon store, and then there's the item store. Pub Turtles Paradise. Publicity flyers notice. Turtles Paradise is now having a publicity campaign. Flyers will be posted all over the world, so make sure you look out for our flyers that say Turtles Paradise. 
There's six in all. Uh-huh. If you find them all, make sure to let the owner of Turtles Paradise know. You can win a prize. All you have to do is read them. Please don't take them down or rip them up. Owner, Turtles Paradise. You know what? I think we actually had to read that sign. Well, technically, I guess I'll never know now had I walked in. Maybe I just had to wait for this section of Wutai to be over story-wise before. Nah, I think I had to read that sign as well. I mean, that's the sign that even tells you that there is a prize involved in the first place. I just, I mentioned that way back in the beginning of the game because I've played this game so many times. So let's talk to the guy. Seems like the town's gotten really lively since you arrived. Anything happen? Hi, congrats! You have just found all six flyers for the Turtle's Paradise. Wow, how wonderful. Now, here's your prize, just as we promised. Power Source, Guard Source, Magic Source, Mind Source, Speed Source, Luck Source, and a Mega Elixir. Please come again to Turtle's Paradise. We're looking forward to seeing you. So, that's not bad, right? Bunch of sources, a mega elixir that we'll probably... We'll get to the end of the game. Gee, I wonder who the boss is, right? We'll fight the boss and we'll never use it. Don't you always hate that? You always work your butt off to get so many items. Let's upgrade our materia. Let's get the ultimate weapons. Let's get all these items. You know, I want to have so many elixirs. Let's see how many. Two mega elixirs, six elixirs, and then we'll use a couple. And <laughs> turbo uh, ethers, so many X potions. I swear. And we never end up using them all, man. We never do. Ah! I swear. I'm going to try and just be gluttonous with my item usage. <laughs> I'm going to... I don't want to talk to this guy. Enjoy your drink. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, you're eating sushi, too. Hey, you know what? I got to tell you guys something. On the topic of Asian culture, I suppose. Sushi. I love freaking sushi, dude. I started small. I started with that, like, cooked sushi stuff. You know, that crab meat or that you know, whatever. The stuff that's, like, already cooked but, like, made in the sushi. Looks like sushi. But no, man. If you want to start that way, fine. If, if you're kind of like wary of sushi, f that's fine too. But I got to tell you guys, you have to have sushi. Pick up some sushi. Some uh, nice grocery stores carry it fresh, depending on the grocery store chain. Uh, like my Wegmans here locally has really good sushi. They got dudes. They got the people there and they prepare it. It's fresh and really nice. Uh, but a sushi, uh, but a sushi restaurant, you know, place that sells Japanese takeout, all that. Oh, such good sushi at some of these places, man. I love freaking sushi. That five-story pagoda over there is called the Pagoda of the Five Mighty Gods. The five gods are power, speed, magic, war, and omni. Omni has the best of the others. For generations, we in Wutai have worshipped the Chow, the water god. Legend has it that the village has been protected by Dachau, the water god, and the five mighty gods. But in the last battle, we didn't fare so well. I guess our beliefs were only based on legend. Alright, uh, yeah, I thought you were going to say something different. Ugh. So what else is there to do here? Well, we're going to go back to this pagoda. Actually, we've never been to this pagoda. We've never really... Yeah, we went to the building at the right where Goto was and we encountered Yuffie and all that stuff. We never went back here. Not that anything really would have happened because, uh... Freeze! You aren't from Wutai, are you? Uh... No. Only those from Wutai may enter the tower. I'll have to ask you to leave. Booted! Yeah, that would have happened. So... You just saw what you would have seen regardless in the last part if I would have went here. Boot it out, man. Boot it out. Freeze! You aren't from Utai, are you? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm totally from Utai, man. Of course, look at me. Hey, I can't stand liars. Leave this tower at once! Booted again. What are we supposed to do here? 
Well, hmm, perhaps we need someone who has some uh, Wu Tai connections. Yuffie, you know she's not in her party. So if you try and approach the tower without Yuffie in the party, you know that happens. That's basically it. You need Yuffie in your party. No biggie. That's why I bought her weapon at the weapon shop. Obviously, there's going to be some more extra activity, right? Uh, oops. PHS. Yuffie. Oh, man, level 31. Oh, that's a problem. So, let's see here. 37, 32, 31. Oh, man, 33. Barrett. I mean, the others. Like, okay, Red 13, 32. Kid said 32. Yuffie, the worst of them all. The one that is needed right now, 31. But Barrett, level 33, that's disappointing. After this part, well, <laughs> I think you know what I'm gonna be doing. Oh yeah. Right now, I have boat access. Should I go to Union? Or is there a place in the world, on the world map that I can get to boat-wise or uh, airplane-wise, whatever, dock the boat at, at a beach and then... Oop. Can I... Okay, that's odd. I can put her down here. Huh, all right. Anyway. I wonder where the best level up and can take place right now. After the Wutai section, but before the next section. So yeah, we have Yuffie in our party. This is, this is how we do it. Let's go back. I'm sure something will happen now that we have someone from this, from this land here. Talk some sense into this guy. How dare you keep me out? Oh, Miss Yuffie, will you be climbing the pagoda today? Yeah. Then I, Sacred Gorky, will be your opponent on the first floor. Yo, they call me Sheik. I'll be watching your fight with Gorky. Then begin. Power change! Ah, uh, yeah, that started very fast, very quickly. <laughs> Didn't have time to even equip myself, and... Well, I suppose I had time. But I didn't equip myself properly or put on Materia. Ooh, oops. You know, there should have been more of an intro here. Like, hey, power change, let's fight. Why? Why are we fighting? What's, what's going on here? What's the deal? Uh, you know, I think I actually have some... Hold on, give me a second here. Ooh, deadly Waste. Uh, Mine, Fire Fang. Ice Crystal. Here we go, what about these? Swift swift bolts and fire veils. And fire veils. How strong are you? Ah, uh, adequate. Oh, you know, she's about to have a limit break. Regain? Ha, <laughs> wow. So guys, let me just tell you everything here. Uh, we're here at the, what is it, the five-story pagoda here. Obviously, there's going to be a battle on each floor. This is typical side quest extra RPG stuff. And, uh, let's fight. What does this do? I tried the... Ah! Lunar Curtain. Good! Alright, let's do some Greased Lightning. Oh, that's annoying. I really, I might, I might get killed, but it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Oh, his damn barrier. You know what would be great? If I could take that barrier his off. You know it would be great if I could uh, take that barrier of his off. I could do that, couldn't I? I'll reflect, look at this guy. You know, some, some game players like doing stuff like this. Right, right here, right now. Uh, equipping yourselves with the bare minimum and trying to get through. No, man. This is what game players like to do a lot, a lot of the time. Especially, like, okay, hey, I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy VII. I play the game a bunch. Let's mix it up. Let's try and do it differently. Like, I'm not going to equip any materia on my person for the whole game. And that's fine. You know, you could be one of those people that do that. That's just never been my thing. Oh look, Gorky's skill power is used up. That is a good thing. Maybe it'll make him easier to deal with. 
How about deadly waste? Maybe we can poison him. Which would be a good thing. Wiggity wiggity wow! Yeah. Grease lightning again. <laughs> so, his power seems to be used up. Maybe he's not as powerful, but... I bet another one of those and we can finish him. You know, this is the first fight. It's not going to be hard, even without our materia. Let's see what other items maybe we can use here. How about this mine? That's not good, though. I hope this thing's strong. Yeah, yeah, it is. Ah, oh, but it didn't finish him. Uh-oh, I... Oh, oh, no! Game over. <gasps> In my opinion, you need more training. Gorky is disappointed. No good. You have to beat Gorky. Are you mocking this pagoda? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Hmm. Oh, Miss Yuffie, will you be climbing the pagoda today? No way. Oh, that's all? <laughs> so we lost. It's no big deal. That's what happens when you lose. They just kind of mock you and game over, but not really. So, you know, I'm going to go back to the save spot. I'm going to prepare for some of these upcoming battles. Uh, yeah, there's uh, several of them, and they do get kind of challenging, especially up top. Now, let's look at our... Yes, thank you for telling me. Let's look at our levels. If Yuffie was level 39, like Cloud, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. Oh, I forgot. It probably wouldn't be a big deal, but she's not. She's level 31, and that could make things a little more troublesome. However, we do have a lot of pretty decent materia, and uh, I don't know. We might be able to do this whole thing in the next part. We'll see, guys, but for now, I'm going to call it a wrap right here at this save spot again. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, everyone, you can follow me on all my social media, including my Patreon. The links to all of it is in the video description. I'm Dave the Usher for The Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy VII. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.